Here's an example of estimating the population mean using the student's T PDF. So this company produces resistors by the thousands and Jerry's in charge of quality control. He picks 20 resistors at random and samples them and he calculates the sample mean of the resistance and the sample standard deviation. So let's estimate the population mean and its confidence interval to standard 95% confidence level. Well, to solve these kind of problems, we'll use the student's T PDF. In this equation, x mu, the population uh, mean, is equal to the, the sample mean, x bar, plus or minus the critical T value, T alpha over 2, times standard deviation over square root of n, where n is the number of data points in the sample. T alpha over 2 is the critical value. We find that on the tables. So we use the student's T PDF at DF, degrees of freedom is 20, number of data points minus 1 equal 19, and we were asked for 95% confidence level. We looked this up at the t in the table to find T alpha over 2, and that table is up here, so 95% is the highlighted row. DF of 19, I get 2.0930. I point out that we can also do this in Excel. If we open Excel and we type in equal TINV and parentheses, and you'll see that Excel asks you for the probability. In this case, for 95% confidence, the probability is 0.05, 5%, and then the number of degrees of freedom is 19, end parentheses, and hit enter, and it gives you 2.09302, which is exactly what uh, we got from the table to this proper number of significant digits. Now we plug in this value into the equation. So the predicted population mean is the sample mean, 8.240 from the given information, plus or minus t alpha over 2, which is 2.0930, times s, which was also given, 0.314, divided by square root of n. n is 20. Be careful you don't use 19. We use 20, which is n here. And that gives us mu equal 8.240, plus or minus 0.147 units or kiloohms. And that's our answer. Part B, let's repeat for 99% confidence level. First of all, do you expect the confidence interval to be wider or narrower? Well, if you think about it, uh, if you want to have a 100% confidence level, the only way to do that is to have an infinite range. So the range, the confidence interval, has to be a lot higher. So I would expect this confidence interval to be higher than the value we chose here when we go to a higher confidence level. So let's uh, repeat this at 99% confidence. So alpha is 0 0.01 and either from the table or from Excel we get T alpha over 2 is 2.8609. You can verify that. And then we plug into the equation again. So from this equation we end up with mu equal 8.240 plus or minus 0 0.201 kilo ohm. And indeed, notice that this confidence interval is wider than it was for 95%. So this is 99%, this one's 95% confidence. It has to be wider in order to be more confident. So we're predicting that our population mean is this value plus or minus some confidence interval. And in order to be more confident, we need a wider interval. So that makes sense physically.